Hey guys, Adam here. Today with theme review. This time it's on a theme called a VZ HD, and a VZ HD is an absolutely awesome theme for your iPhone and iPod Touch. It has so many options with it and so many different features, and that's the main reason why I like it. So this is a theme, as you can see, on my iPhone, and there's a few different elements with this theme. So there's going to be custom. Uh, you know icons on your springboard which you guys see right here and the coolest part about the custom icons is that there's three different types of custom icons so you're gonna have these normal square icons there's also custom circular icons and then there's a third type which is the coolest type and these are two by one icons which I'll show you guys in just a second the next part about this theme is that there's custom widgets so you're gonna have this custom widget down here there's two of them here actually there's a weather widget and you could set the uh, place where you want to track the weather in iFile or if you SSH into your theme I'll put instructions on that in the description below you're also gonna have that calendar widget down there which you guys see so it is highlighting the day of the week and uh, what date it is so it's highlighting Sunday the 15th and it's January of course there's also going to be custom applications and custom application loading screens. So I can click into something, let's just say like phone, and you guys can see there's that custom loading screen. And you're also going to have the custom theme all around, and you guys can see here we have that blue theme to it. And I didn't mention this, but there's a few different custom themes of colors on top of the theme. So normally you're just going to get it all black and white. However, there's a blue theme, a red theme, and a green theme. And you can adjust this right in Winterboard settings. So I'm in Winterboard right here. We have an add-on for blue, which I have enabled. Then there's also an add-on for red and an add-on for green, and that's built right in with a VZHD. Next up with a VZHD, we're going to have a custom keyboard. And there's that custom keyboard. So how this works is it comes with the theme. However, you're going to need a separate tweak, which is called Color Keyboard, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of. And you enable it with Color Keyboard, and it just has this black and white theme to it, just to go along with the rest of the theme. With the VZHD, the one part I don't like about the theme is unfortunately there's not really a custom lock screen besides when you're charging your phone. Uh, so I am charging it right here and you guys can see here that we have this custom battery. However, if I unplug my charger, you guys can see here unfortunately we only have that custom slider and no custom you know, lock screen theme. The next thing with the VZHD I want to show you guys is the custom multitasking tray as well as custom notification center. So first off, notification center just has that black theme to it. And then we also have a custom multitasking tray with a black theme to it as well. Uh, so there's the first page and then we have custom icons here. And that is how the multitasking tray looks like. The next thing with the VZHD I want to show you guys is the custom icons. Like I said, there's three different types of icons. There's going to be the square icons, which is kind of a combination of icons selected here and quad icons. Those are the square ones, and then there's also going to be the uh, more circular ones, which is enabled right there. So I'll respring my device. And here are the more circular, globular type icons, and these are pretty cool. And you guys can see them right here, and they're just circles. And finally, the most unique icons, which I'm not really going to set up because this might take a while, is the large icons. And you can take a look at this in the description below. I'll put a screenshot when these are all set up. These look really awesome, and they're pretty much two by one icons. So instead of your icon just taking up one spot on the springboard, it's going to take up two. And you can very easily set this up with a tweak called Gridlock, which is free Insidia. But here are the large icons. As you can see here, they are two by one. However, they're not set up on my device, so they are overlapping. However, you can see here, these, these definitely look really cool when they're set up and they're a bit of a larger icons and I think it's a really cool look. So guys, altogether, that is a VZHD. I highly, highly recommend this theme. It's a really awesome black and white theme. It has so many features, as you guys saw there. And I didn't cover everything. However, I did cover most of the features. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like right down below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button above to be informed when I post all my new daily tweak and theme reviews. Anyways, guys, thanks all for watching.